Hello everyone, you are not hallucinating. I have a new video upload. My first video upload in 2021. I'm still in the habit of saying 2020. Um, I'm really excited to be back here because I had made a commitment to myself moving into 2021 that I would at least do three new video uploads every single month. I'm really striving for four, which would essentially be one video a week, but 2020 has been a pretty insane year. I think uh, it's been a big reset for a lot of us. Obviously, I live here in America, so not only did we have the pandemic going on, but we had a lot of just wild things with social injustice and also politically I think our country has definitely been the entertainment of the world this last year and moving into 2021 no laughing matter of course I definitely am you know sending positive vibes out there to everyone and really just want to hopefully offer an escape to everyone with my channel and kind of just get your mind off of everything and get Reimmerse into kind of my content and what I love to share with you guys overall So if you could tell by the title of the video today, then you'll definitely know that I'm gonna be going over My most used luxury items in 2020 and to be honest with you Some things in here kind of caught me by surprise because after the pandemic struck there was a lot of things I shifted to for more of a comfortable style aesthetic and then there are some things that are a true workhorse that definitely have stood the test of time that i would love to share so the first thing i want to start off with and i've done multiple you know videos and reviews on this bag is my saint laurent sac du jour um i'm a pretty minimalist bag guy i think if you kept up with my channel earlier in the years I tend to buy and sell off a lot of my bags that I did used to own. I've had Gucci bags, Louis Vuitton bags, the list goes on. But I think, you know, the Saint Laurent Sac du Jour really ticks off all the boxes for me. It can be used for travel. It's an amazing executive work bag. Um, it's so structured that it never loses shape throughout time. I've carried this in the rain, I've carried this, you know, quite carefree. I've accidentally, you know, closed car doors on it. I mean, the list really goes on with this bag. Um, it really is just something amazing. I picked this up about three years ago now, or two and a half or three years ago now, in Avenue Montaigne in Paris at the Saint Laurent flagship store over there. And this was when Saint Laurent first introduced their men's sac du jour. So it does come with a much more substantial, you know, thick strap as a bag. It is a top handle carrier. I tend to normally only carry this as a top handle bag. It does have feet at the bottom. Mine are all still pretty intact, which is amazing. And to be honest with you, I've just been using this bag to death. And the main reason why I'm showing it is because I am 99% most likely going to get another bag really, really soon. Um, I might share it with you guys in a luxury wish list tag video kind of thing, but I'm just showing this just because I will most likely be adding a new bag to my collection this year. I'm still thinking of practicality and, you know, ease of use just because if I add another bag to my collection, it really has to be just a, just as much of a wow factor as the Saint Laurent Sac du Jour was. So definitely cannot end 2020 without mentioning this bag, which I use every single day. Next up is going to be my Cartier card holder. Now, this is really similar to a Louis Vuitton pocket organizer. Um, I've had Louis Vuitton pocket organizers in the past. I used to have a Supreme one, which I actually sold off for a really great value. It was kind of too hard to pass up. I sold it for almost double than what I purchased it retail for, so it was kind of a no-brainer, but I do have two wallets in my collection currently. I have a Gucci, you know, double G bloom wallet that's really nice, more of a casual look, and then I have this Cartier leather card holder. What I like about the Cartier card holder is that it's really, really sleek and slim, so I do wear quite tailored suit pants for work sometimes, and I do need a wallet that can fit into my pockets of my pants without overly bulging or stretching out the pocket insert. This thing not only holds a lot of cards in the you know concealed areas right here and also right here, 
but also on the back as well. So I put in the gate community to my complex where I live, and also you could insert some cash back here. So it's a really, really just super minimalist, chic wallet. Um, it does have the Cartier logo embossed here on the center as you can see. If you are looking for something different that not everyone has, I would definitely recommend. Of course, we cannot talk about 2020 without mentioning my Valentino VLTN abbreviated document holder. There's often times where I want to carry a phone charger, my card holder, gum, um, you know, just a variety of a lot of things in my on the go essentials, but I don't want them just all free floating in my car or with me on the go. So I really like this because it does hold a lot. So it does come with the iconic Valentino rock studs or studs at the corner and even on the pull tab of the zipper. It's just really nice. I also have a Saint Laurent document holder that I use all the time for my laptop directly, but this is one that I tend to hold all my day-to-day -day essentials in, and I use this a lot in 2020. Of course, I could not talk about 2020 without mentioning my Yeezys. Now, when I unboxed these shoes, you guys pretty much, or these slides, I should say, you guys pretty much ripped them to shreds but I don't care because you know what? I wear these to the grocery store. I wear these to CVS when I'm picking up, you know, allergy eye drops, anything like that. Like these are my Aaron shoes. Like if you ever see me in public nine times out of 10, I'm wearing these with socks, you know, like shorts and a black t-shirt and maybe a hat and sunglasses. Like this is definitely my lazy day slides. I love these more than even my Gucci and Versace slides that I own just because they're so marshmallowy and bouncy that they're just really comfortable to wear. I love the little grippies on the side of them right here. It's just a really fun design. I know they're so horrendous that they're not for everyone, but I absolutely love them. To be on the theme of Yeezys, I also wore my 352s or V2s, I think they're called all the time. I mean, uh, these are my workout shoes, obviously, with gyms being closed, which has been very difficult for me, I'm not gonna lie, just because that was one thing I really loved doing every single morning before going to work was going to the gym, an actual gym. But nonetheless, I have been trying to run almost, almost every single day. I do have some cheat days, I'm not gonna lie. Um, and, you know, obviously, for running, Yeezy shoes are really comfortable. I know a lot of people buy these for fashion to wear as a like a fashion sneaker, which I do too, but as you can see, they're pretty dirty right now just because I run out in out in you know the world with these. So, you know, I'm stepping in dirt or little things like that where the white shoe is gonna get dirty. Luckily, these are really easy to clean. All you have to do is toss them in the washer with Tide detergent or any detergent you want to use, OxyClean, and when you do that, these come out like crystal white all over again. So, really carefree shoe, very comfortable, very fashionable, and they look really amazing with like gray sweatpants. So, I absolutely love my Yeezys. Of course, I cannot end a video without mentioning a pair of red bottoms. These are the new alpha male flats that I bought this year back in 2020 that I wear religiously to work. Um, these are definitely the Alex shoe when it comes to a Christian Louboutin shoe. What I love about the alpha male flat, number one, there's no laces, so these are so easy to get in and out in. Number two, I do love the multi-paneling that these versions tend to have. There is one more style I really want, and it's the full patent leather alpha male flat, although something tells me those are probably a pain in the ass to break into, because Christian Louboutin patent leather, at least for men's shoes, is like very, very firm to break into and takes a long time, even if you wear them daily. So what I like about these is that they come in a suede material and then this like flannel texture and then soft kid leather. So they're just really sleek. Obviously I wear these a lot, so the red bottom on them is basically wearing off by now. And I'm not really one of those people that babysit their red bottoms. I feel like, you know, these shoes are meant to be worn. I wear these shoes to death. They look amazing with a full on suit, an all black suit, which I tend to wear pretty often. And they also look really good with 
ripped jeans and a fitted white t-shirt. I mean, they're just really sleek, dapper shoes. And so last but not least, my last, I guess, luxury purchase of 2020, literally at the end of December, was I did get a new car. It ticks off all the boxes for me. I got it completely blacked out. I got the windows tinted, completely blacked out not that long ago either. I'm sure you're seeing a photo of it right here. And so that was a really nice highlight to end the new year. Anyways, you guys, this wraps it up for my first video back onto YouTube. I am very excited to get underway with everything and to start creating more for all of you. If you have any video suggestions or things you would like to see from me, please leave it in the comments down below. I have been listening to all of you and I am gonna do an updated kind of men's grooming video. It's not gonna highlight a lot of products or I'm not actually gonna mention products I use at all just because I wanna show more of a technique perspective versus I use this product to give me this result because I just feel like you all can kind of go out there and see what products you want to use and you probably have a lot of favorites you like to use so it's the number one question I get a lot on my Instagram especially when I post a selfie showing like a different work shirt or something like that a lot of people always ask like to share an updated grooming routine so I will definitely be doing that pretty soon um, and I just have a lot of content plan I think I'm re I, I feel really excited just because this year feels very renewing and refreshing and I feel like I have a lot to share again so I'm really excited can't wait to you know be back on this journey with all of you thank you guys so much for watching and as I always say until next video I'll see you guys then.